Hello and welcome to my channel where we may be dazed, but we are not confused. We are going to do a what's on your plate reading for the sign of cancer. So the purpose of this reading is to take a look at some of the things that might be literally on your plate. So whenever we're eating and we're eating really good food and maybe there's a lot of it, sometimes we take on more than what we can eat because it looks so good. Sometimes we don't feel like eating a lot. We just get a little bit. So when I was growing up, we used to call it, your eyes would be bigger than your belly. So you saw something that you thought you wanted, but maybe it was too much once you got it on your plate. And if you're like me, sometimes you had to sit there till you finished eating it before you could get up. And so this is kind of a way to look at what's going on. Maybe something that you desired and maybe you found out it was too much, or maybe it's something that you just wanted a little bit of um, to deal with because you didn't want to deal with too much of it, okay? So either way, Let's take a look. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to pull uh, the number of dishes that you're gonna have on your plate, or size dishes that you'll have on your plate, as well as what those dishes are, okay? And each of these dishes corresponds with an oracle deck. So spice it up, literally, <laughs> pun intended. All right, so Cancer, you are going to have, Okay, you just want one dish. All right, and so that dish, if you're not really hungry, you don't want a lot of this, is going to be cornbread. All right, and so for cornbread, we will be pulling from the Sacred Traveler deck. Okay, we got Cates of Triumphs. All right, that's straight to the point there. All right, so I started off with the tarot deck. And looking at the deck, it appears as if you wanted to have an ending to some type of foundation within a marriage or some type of you know family situation. And I feel like this is you, and because you really only wanted one dish, I feel like you just had enough. Like you'd had more than you could take, more than your fill. Um, you didn't get a lot of dishes that were filling, like you didn't get any meat, you didn't really get any, um, vegetables or anything you just got bread all right and so this to me with it being cornbread to me it's kind of saying like you just want like the basics you want to get the things that are going to be the most important to you um the things that are of value so i feel like what i'm hearing is um give us this day our daily bread and what this is kind of telling me is that you just you want to deal with like the core things all right, like you don't want to deal with the extra, the extraneous things that add on to your stress, that add on to your anxiety, that add on to your worries and woes. And there may have been a lot of that in this marriage, in this situation. All right. And so because typically people don't go into these things lightly where they end relationships that have a foundation to them. All right. I'm picking up that it could have been, you know, maybe you were married for four years, so maybe not too long of a time but if it was a stressful toxic situation it could have been something that you felt that you needed to remove yourself from in order to get some kind of peace in order to get down to the basics the simple things in life and I feel like that's what you were trying to do all right um you know I feel as if in this situation I feel like there's something that you may have been working towards. Like there was something, I don't wanna say there's something on the side that you're trying to get to, but what I feel like is that you just feel that getting out of this situation will allow you to um, just have more balance. It allows you to walk through the gates of future success because you don't have this energetic tie to something that can cause you to get into a mind space where you can't manifest that or you can't be in that kind of space you know they say that a lot of your where you end up in life is determined by the people that you're around and so if you're around people that are supposed to be supportive or they are your foundation or your structure and they're really putting you into a space of not feeling that way not feeling abundant not feeling as if you're going to have success in your life um 
Also, I want to note that corn symbolically tends to be um, connected with the idea of abundance and success. And the fact that you're eating cornbread and that's all you wanted is that that's what you're trying to move towards. I feel like you, you see yourself as being more successful, having more opportunities by not being in this space. And so the card that we pulled for from the Sacred Traveler deck was Gates of Triumphs. And it says that success expands in your life. So on this card, it's like a, a gate that's been kind of flung open and then there's a path that's just stretching out into the sun. And so I feel like you are taking your first steps into this bright future that you see for yourself. All right. Um, I'm hearing like clear horizons, you know, like you have this opportunity to really just start fresh and see yourself in the spaces the places, the success that you envision and surround yourself with people that will encourage and support you in doing that. Answer, this is what I have for your what's on your plate reading. I hope it was helpful for you. Thank you for joining me on this channel where we may be days, but we are not confused. And until next time, bye-bye.